Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I came out yesterday and was fueling up the 308 so I can get back on this clearing job here and finish up. And while I was in the process of putting the fuel in, the machine cut off. Now I had just finished replacing, or I just replaced the condenser and the hydraulic um, radiator from where I ran the tree in. And since I've had this machine going on a little over a year now, no issues whatsoever. Well, I had started it up, you know, let it warm up, was pumping fuel in there, and it shut off. As first time it done that, and I was like, oh man, what, what could be going wrong? But come to find out, I had one water and trash in the fuel. Now, I think the culprit is my 100 gallon fuel tank there because I haven't used that to fill up any equipment in a while and it's been sitting out in the sun with this weather that we've had hot cold hot cold um, I suppose it, it had sweat some and water got down on the inside and some trash so and I just filled that thing up with probably about 30 gallons of fuel and it all went into the machine here so I'm gonna drain that um, clean it out and the first thing I need to do is put a filter coming off that pump I think that would have prevented me from pumping all that erase that I came out and inspected see if I can figure what the problem was and it had been a while since I had changed the filter. Well, actually, I haven't changed the filter since, I, since I've had it. Um, it's, it's coming up on changes. But I just, when I filled up that tank, I used off-road fuel, which is usually dyed. And this was clear. And that didn't seem right to me. So I opened up the bottom and drained it. And sure enough, that was straight water coming out. Even if it's diesel, even if it's regular off-road or regular road diesel, it should have a greenish tint to it. Um, and that's what last couple of times I've put fuel in there using my cans, it was just regular tax fuel, which like I said has a greenish tint to it. And when it started flowing out the bottom, it, like I said, it just didn't seem right. And sure enough, it was water. I can only assume that the water came out of that tank because that is the only thing that I'd done different. But anyway, I drained it and got all the water out. And then this primary filter up here was clogged. And like a knucklehead, when I went to CAT to get the filter, I didn't get that one. So I spent half a day just running back and forth to CAT. And the pump was pumping, but it wasn't pumping fuel quick enough. I got it running, but the pump wasn't pumping fuel quick enough to, as the engine was running, it would suck this out before the pump could fill it back up. And which tells me that the pump had, uh, had gone on it too. I guess it was also packed with dirt. And again, I just finished watching Diesel Creek as he changed the fuel pump on that big Fiat Alice of his. And Matt, I'm beginning to see a pattern. Every time I watch one of your videos, which I'm, I am a subscriber, I watch one of your videos, something similar happens to one of my machines. It happened with the air filter on my 941. Uh, I'd watch you change the air filter on that 977 of yours. I come out here and I gotta change the air filter on my 941. Uh, I watched the video of you changing the pump on your uh, 605 or 645 and my pump on this goes down. This here is the old pump and it's like I said, it, it's working but it's just spitting fuel out of there instead of a steady stream.
that's not enough volume of fuel to fill that filter up before it gets sucked out by the engine. Went to cat this morning and got the new pump. Wiley put a little box inside a big box. I don't know. But last couple of times I've gotten parts, it's been that way. It didn't come in until about 1.30. So I'm gonna stick this new pump on there and see if this solves our problem. And it does have out and in so you know what you, uh, what the direction of flow is Heck, that ain't doing much better than the other one. Which tells me that that filter is probably clogged up again.
that filter is full. to buy another one of those that primary filter but I got trash in the bottom of that tank that's clogging that filter and it had to come out of my fuel tank well we've isolated that problem down So here's my field expedient fuel lab. And you can see we got most of the water out. But if you look in there, you can see all that micro film right there. That'll clog up your, your filter and keep it from flowing. So like I said, I'm gonna swap two new filters and drain the fuel out of that tank and clean that tank because uh, that seems to be my problem and drain my storage tank out and put a filter on there Problem solved now. It's been running a good solid three or four minutes now. I'm gonna let it run a little longer. I don't have much fuel in there, so I'm not gonna let it run too long. But 
like you see I drained all that old fuel out I did a quick field test of the fuel out of the tank and it looks clean there's nothing suspended and it's been sitting for a good half hour 45 minutes there's nothing down the bottom so I think my tank is good so it may have come out of another fuel can that I had picked up around here because uh, I didn't have mine with me so I, I grabbed one of my buddies but it may have been the problem it could have had a whole bunch of stuff in it not knowing it looked clean to the eye but once I put the fuel in there but it was empty there was no water in there that's what I'm aware of but whatever it was Looks like I got it figured out. You can see that filter there. It's all fuel now. There's no trash or water like it was before. And then same with the primary. It's actually cleaned up quite a bit. Once I sucked all that other fuel out, but I'm gonna still replace those two filters. I'll pick some up tomorrow. Uh, I gotta run a load up to Westminster, Maryland with the truck tomorrow, so Friday I'll be back out, replace those two filters, and hopefully get back to work and get this job done so I can get out of here. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you got any comments, add them down at the bottom. And subscribe, because I have a couple more coming up. I'm fixing to change the fuel filter on the 941. That's turned into a much harder problem than it needed to be. And of course, um, I'll film finishing up, clearing up this lot here and taking some more of these trees down. Well, she's up and running. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and come on back for more videos. Tell your friends. If you're local to the DMV or Northern Virginia and you got some earthwork that needs to be done, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Or even if you see me go up and down the road, blow the horn. I'll be sure to wave back. I'm looking at you, Mr. Shaw, Mr. Towmaster, and Jeff from Lawn Brothers. I'll see you out there. Catch you on the next one.